So if you're going to file a process, there are things you have to know before you even begin the process of going to court to file. Okay, so the first thing you do is to note how many parties there are in a suit. How it goes like this. One party gets one. The other party gets one. If there are two parties in the um, claimant space, that is each party in the claimant space gets one and each party in the defendant space gets one. So each claimant should get one copy and each defendant or whoever in the lower part should get another copy. And then the court gets two copies. The one with the MBA seal is the court's copy. And then the acknowledgement copy from these people that you're going to serve will be given to the court. So if you have served every party, let's say there are four parties in this, the acknowledgement copies from each of the parties plus the court's copy, that's the one with the MBA seal, goes to the court. So we always have to make sure that whatever we are submitting, that is the front part of your process is signed. So let's say that's my signature. So the next thing you should always look at is the affidavits in the process. Now, affidavits should be signed in front of the commissioner of for oaths, the commissioner for oaths. You should never sign your affidavit. Whoever the deponent is should never sign the affidavit um, in your office or wheresoever. It should always be done in the office of the commissioner for oaths. So another thing to look out for in the affidavit is the highlighted exhibit. So in this entire affidavit, you only have one exhibit highlighted and that is exhibit A. So behind the um, affidavit, this is our exhibit. Let's just say this is our exhibit. So I'm going to call it Exhibit A. I'm going to write it out, Exhibit A. Now, that is what you refer to in your affidavit. Now, the back of the exhibit should have the stamp like this. Your office should have it, okay? So it's like this. This is the document referred to as Exhibit. So we're going to put it Exhibit A. That is what we called it. And um, affidavit of, we're going to look at who the deponent was. The name of the dep um, person that made the affidavit, as you can see here, is Tunde Balogo. So at the back of the exhibit, remember exhibit, this is exhibit A. Okay, so we wouldn't forget to date all we need to date. And don't forget that the only thing we are not dating is the affidavit that would be signed in front of the um, commissioner for oaths. Okay, so we date everything we need to date and sign everything we need to sign. And don't forget the number of processes you're going to make depends on the number of parties. In this instance, we have um, two parties Okay, so one for us, the applicants, two for the respondent. That is one we are giving them to hold on to and one that they are going, they are going to acknowledge that we are going to submit to the court as a proof of service. So the court gets two. So in this suit, as you can see, we are making four copies. One for us, one for service on them, one for acknowledgement copy that we are going to give to the court and then the last one for the court. That is the one with this MBA seal. So while going to the court to file all your processes, there are six steps before you end the process of um, filing. Okay, so the first step is the assessment. This is where all the things that you're filing are assessed with the various amounts um, for each of the process. As you can see, application 500, your affidavit 500, your written address 500, then exhibit 100, the seal of the cost that is going to be on this process, um, 200 naira. It depends on what amount they charge in your um, jurisdiction. This is actually a fictitious paper because I can't go to court to do this. So let's just say I'm doing like a makeshift um, registry in my um, in my house. Okay, so you're supposed to go to the registry in the 
court that you desire to file in in my fictitious um process i have the high court of um, edo state so i'm supposed to go to the registry of the high court of edo state in edo for this um for this particular assessment if this were to be um true Please, um, there's something pertinent I should mention, and it's that each page of the process is going to be assessed like this. Each page of the process is going to be assessed like this. So each photocopy, like we said, we are making four copies because there are two parties in this suit. Um, for the four copies of the process, who's going to carry this particular um, assessment. So after the assessment, you are going to pay somewhere in the registry. You'll be directed to where you're going to pay depending on the amount on the process. So this is like a receipt from the court, um, from the POS in the court. Now, payment is different from the court receipt, okay? Payment is different from the court receipt. This is um, the POS I used or per se you're paying inside the bank. You're going to get a bank teller. So now you use this um, receipt to get a court receipt this is the bank receipt you use the bank receipt to get the court receipt and that is going to be the third step so this is the third stage where you collect the court um, receipt i'm using a receipt i already got from the court from previous um filed processes but i have to hide the name because these um, documents are obviously um sensitive so after the assessment you get the payment you get to the payment you get the bank receipt and then go to the um, place where you get the particular court receipt and this is the um, third step in this process so after this third step of receipt collection you go with the receipts from the court to get the court um, seal the court seal which is already assessed here and because like i don't have a court seal, i took a picture of a process i already filed so this is what um the court seal in the high courts here looks like so i don't know what it looks like in your jurisdiction but this is where you get the court seal so beside the court seal they're going to put um like a date and whatever it is they are they need to write beside the court seal and that is the fourth step okay so the fifth step is where you append your signature in front of the commissioner for oaths okay so uh, let's just imagine this is the signature whoever the deponent is that is in my affidavit it is tunde balogun so whoever it is that is the deponent to the affidavit would come and sign before the commissioner for oaths. Now, um, like I said, I'm doing like a makeshift um, registry in my house. So the commissioner for oaths um, gives you his stamp. This is what is going on. I already am using something already um, done in front of the commissioner for oaths. So the signature and then the commissioner for oaths is going to affix a stamp on that particular place for the deponent to sign so the sixth and the final stage is where you're going to get the suit number so um you are going to be directed you could always ask questions especially if it's your first time you don't know how things are done so whoever it is that gives the suit number let's be fictitious now let's say um this is edo court so ed um civil cv whatever it is um 10 2020 so that is the suit number that the um processes will now begin to so the, like this particular suit had, has now acquired a particular suit number and that is the number every other thing that is going to come under it whether a reply next counter affidavit is going to carry this particular suit number and that is the sixth and final step of um filing a process in the courts in nigeria so when we're done with the sixth um process in court we have to go and um serve the respondents or the defendants whatever it's called in your suit and this is an example of what an acknowledgement copy should look like so this is more like them they've received they signed um usually this uh received on top of it will carry the law firm's name but um like i said these are sensitive things and i'm using um fictitious uh makeshift things to make to create the video so now the received copy will be taken to court together with the original process that has 
the stamp and seal so those two copies will be taken to the court and that is the end of filing and serving a process